fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. Uh, it's Tuesday the 31st of January 2023. Welcome to the channel if you are new. And uh, I'm going to say welcome back to myself because this is a second attempt. Yes, I just played this game and I almost got to the end and I was just proud of playing the game without pencil marks having found a few tricks quite a few tricks along the way quite pleased with myself and then bam no I'd messed it up I'd really messed it up um, I, I made a mistake somehow I ended up with two ones uh, double somewhere that uh, I don't know how I did it but anyway I'm annoyed because I thought um, it was good I did say while I was playing the game I shouldn't like um, declare victory until the end, weirdly and coincidentally enough, but just thinking uh, it was because of, there might still be a logic issue, but it wasn't because I thought that I'd made a mistake. Okay, before we get on with the game, I will note that um, uh, there's an article in The Guardian promoting a concert uh, for Salisbury Cathedral where they are going to play... Um, Gustav hosts the Planet Suite on the church organ. Church organs are amazing instruments, right? I don't really like going into churches if it's not listening to music. I'm a very non-religious person. and um, But, uh, yes, uh, it looks really uh, interesting. And, of course, the Planet Suite has been done by so many different artists in so many different ways, including electronic versions and jazz versions and very avant-garde stuff, some amazing stuff. Um uh, or I'm sure that would be very good. But I was also thinking, <laughs> the thing that occurred to me was, uh, if you are a Russian assassin, uh, now is your chance, right? Because previously, uh, Russian assassins had to say they were going to Salisbury Cathedral to look at the spire, the famous spire that nobody had heard of until <laughs> until that time where they said, hey, there's a, a, you know, let's Google Salisbury Cathedral spire. And they gave this kind of uh, reason, the Russians gave this reason, they were assassins, and they gave the reason that they were uh uh, they just read off like a Google, um, no, a Wikipedia entry about the, about the spire of the, the church as to their excuses of why they were in Salisbury and happened to be uh, running around with poison. Anyway, so if you're a, a wannabe Russian assassin, get in there quick while they've got a concert on at um, Salisbury Cathedral. Right, I'm going to tell you what I saw, or maybe not in the same order that I saw it, but I'll tell you something that I saw the first time around that I played. So uh, I see four blocking up here. So it's going to put four into one of these two squares. Now we have four and nine here. So that means that these squares are going to be four and nine, right? Now we have ones blocking up here like this. This is the New York Times hard level game, if I, if I forgot to mention that. I may have done. Okay, so we've got four and nine like this. Uh, now... What I then said was 1, 4, and 8 block across here like this. So these can't be 1, 4, and 8. So 1, 4, and 8 have to be in these squares there. And somehow, magically, I found this square. But now I can't remember how I did it. So I shall have to <laughs> start again. Uh, let's see then. So let's play the game. And uh, 1, 4, 8, um, 4s. Uh, okay, so what goes along the top here? Uh, I think it's five, six, seven. Yes, and five and seven block up here. I hope I'm doing this right and make the same mistake again. Six goes in here. And a pair of five and seven will be along here. Right. Uh, now, I know what it was I found out. This column down here... Uh, we are lacking one, two, three, four, I think. Uh, about double check, yes. Okay, and two, three, and four attack this square, so that's a one. Ah, that was how I did it. So we now have one and four blocking this square. So when we say one, four, and eight in these three squares, we know this can't be this can't be one or four. Has got to be eight. That's what I did eight blocks across here but as I say I made a mistake somewhere so I'm, I don't, I've got to be careful that I, must, that I don't copy what I did in the previous game too closely because I'm likely to make the same mistake again right the other thing that I discovered was the eight and nine blocking down here and this actually took me by the way 
uh, normally the spotting these kind of uh, doubles takes ages, but it took me a very short time to find both the 9-4 up here and the 8-9 down here. So I feel like I'm on form, but I just don't know <laughs> what went wrong. So we've got 8 and 9 here, and since we have 8-9 here, that's going to lead us to a pair of 8 and 9 up here. Um, so the four blocks across here, and that puts four into this bottom row, and then the four down here, and that gives us a four in that square there. Four up here, four down here, that puts four into that square, like so. Um, now, I might have got it wrong in this block up here. I said this is two, three. We have a pair of two and three here. Somehow I worked out that was two or three, but I may have been wrong there. So let's see. Now we have six, six in these squares. Um, so this is one and four. So we, okay, so that's going to put fours into those squares there. We have four anywhere down here. Fours like this. No, can't say for sure yet. Uh, and this is five and seven. So that means sevens have to be in these squares. So we've got seven blocking here. So that is a seven. Okay, then we have fives here. And we have a five blocking up here as well. So this should be, so fives should be like this. We also have fives there. This looks remarkably familiar. As I say, I'm a bit worried. And so this is five and six. And this is two, yes, two and three, as I worked out before. So that's okay so far. And I also said this is two or three because we've only got, we've already know these two squares. So this is two, three, this is two, three. Um, and this is again four, nine. So this is five, but could also be, this can't be two. This is five, three, and this is five, two, three, I think. Right, we have seven blocking down here and down here. Puts a seven in that square. Seven across here and across here. Seven down here. Here's the seven. Oh, not to go too quickly because I maybe that's. I was just going too fast and made the mistake because I was rushing through. Is possible. Now, what I said was we have eight and nine in these squares. Ah, this could be where I made my mistake before. I said I found one, I had the one blocking across here. I put one into those squares. But actually, look, one is still possible here, isn't it? I think that could be, a, that might have been what I, have, what I did before. It's quite possible. Actually, we have one there, one there, one there. Yeah, I think this is it. That's the mistake I made. Okay, well, let's try something else then. Seems to be a lot more difficult this time when you've made a mis <laughs> when you when you're following the actual numbers as opposed to a mistake. I wonder why I did it so quickly. Now I think I know. Ah. Okay, we have six down here and down here and across here, so that is a six. 
oh, so that's not good news, or rather, that is a 1. So 1 definitely is in one of those squares. This is 8 and 9 down here, right? So then 1 blocking across here, blocking across here, and down here, that puts a 1 into that square there. So we've got 8 and 9 here, and then... Uh, one, three, five, yeah, which is what I had before. Oh. There is the possibility that I copied the digits in incorrectly as well. There is that possibility. I hope that's not true, though. Ah, and this is what I did before. Two across here and here, so that gives me, gives me the two there and a three there and a two there and a three in this square. That's all familiar. That's not good. <laughs> Getting worried now. We have twos blocking up here and up here like this with a two across. So that will put two in that square. We know this is four and nine. That is a five. Uh, yeah, this looks the same. Why did I do? Five across here, five down here. Here's our five. Hmm. So for ones, we have ones there, we have ones here, that means we have ones here and ones here. Which is a very symmetrical looking thing. We have twos in those squares and we have twos in those squares, which is also very symmetrical and not particularly helpful. Threes. We have threes, our missing number here, somewhere there. Like that. And so down here they has have to be in one of these squares for three. Uh, this is eight and nine, isn't it? And this is, so this is three, what else? Five, we've got fives blocking down here, so that's a five. So this is three and four. Uh, all right, it doesn't do a great deal but this is 3 and 4 so let's have a look at what, what's missing from here if this is 3 and 4 we are looking for 6 8 9 we've got 8 and 9 blocking across here this has got to be a 6 and this will be 8 and not yes of course because 8 and 9 are down here right as I worked oh, of course I worked out at the beginning didn't I <sighs> right now the missing numbers here are 3 and 5 so that has to be a 3 5 Yeah, five is still possible up there as well. Okay, right. Okay, just hope it's not all going to go belly up again. We don't have any completed digits just yet. No, no. Seven up here, seven down here, and seven across there. We can get a seven there. Seven across these two rows, and up here, here is our seven. Now this at the top was five and seven, so seven blocks here. Here's the seven, here is the five. Five down here, five down here, and five across here. Here is our five. Now I think I said this has to be three or five, didn't I? Um, 
Yeah, because one blocks across here like this now, so that's our one. We know this is eight and nine, so it does have to be three. Oh, I'm getting nervous again. <laughs> one up here, there's our one. This is not quite the same shape as last time, though. It's, there's something slightly different, but I can't quite tell what it is. I'm hoping that it's going to be okay. Five blocks across here. Here is our five. This would be a three. Right. Okay. I'm, just, I'm kind of taking breaks, pauses at each stage just to double check because I am still not that confident that I'm going to get there without it all messing up again. Or without me messing it up, I should be more accurate. Uh, we do have seven as a completed digit. We can see nines are in those squares. We know nines are over here and here and there. So nines are definitely in those squares there. And that's going to limit nine to these two squares here because we've got top and bottom uh, rows in this shoot, so nines are in those squares there. This is a pair of one and two, look, one, two, one, two. So this is a pair, or oh, just look down here and see what's missing. So there we go, two across there, there's the two. There's the one. That's slightly different, that's okay. So the, I did have some kind of problem with the ones the first time I did it, that's gonna be a one there. And that actually works out now. Yeah, oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> uh, all right, so what did I say? I know that nines are over here. What else do we know? Oh, I can see eight blocking across there. So we've got eights in those squares. What else? Threes are in these squares here. Is that going to help? And what's the other missing number? Fours are like this. Um, this is now nine and two, right? We've got actually we've got twos blocking like this across here, like that. So that's the two, and this would be a nine. Uh, right. So this is three six. We've got six across here. That gives us a six. Three goes in there. Three across here. Three down here. Here's our three. Um, and this has to be a nine then, since I said nine were in those two in these one of these two squares there. That's our nine. Then we have nine blocking across here and across here. That's got gives us a nine in that square there. Missing number over here is an eight, I think. And down here will be a four. Four also blocking across here, putting a four into that square. Four blocking up here. Here's a four. This is a nine. I do remember. Uh, nine is one of this is eight and nine down here. We've got the nine blocking down here now, so nine goes there, eight goes there. The nine we can also take across here and down there to finish them off. And the eight blocking across here gives us an eight in that square. Eight up here, eight down here. There's the eight. The last number to place here is a three. I want to say yes, three. And uh, the three also blocks down here. Give me a three there. The missing number here is a four. Um, this is a six we need here. And the six blocks up there, giving us a six here. And a five there. Okay, great stuff. Much happy uh, to be <laughs> finishing that uh, correctly um, without candidates. Uh, the first time around, though, I w it was very soon. I, I made one small mistake somewhere, I guess. But I actually didn't take very long to almost finish it, so um, I guess this is uh, definitely easier than we've seen in the last few days. That's it. Bye-bye.